Let's talk scampi. Um, traditionally, I guess you might think of shrimp scampi or chicken scampi, but, or even veal scampi, but veal can get expensive. So I was at the supermarket and I was trying to think of something different to make for dinner, but I love lemon butter garlic. So keeping with that feel, I found these amazing, great deal, great bargain pork cutlets. So right in the meat section, they're already cut and cleaned. They were $4 for six cutlets. So I bought two packs for dinner. I have them marinating with a little bit of oregano, salt, pepper, and lemon juice. And here is all the stuff we're gonna need, an onion, some butter, some garlic, lemon, parsley, Parmesan, white wine. And we're gonna make pork cutlet scampi tonight for dinner and serve it over some pasta or with some pasta, should I say. Any good scampi, any good scampi has a ton of garlic. Now you can finally chop it or mince it, but we are just gonna slice it nice and thin. I like to see the garlic um, in my dishes. So we're gonna thin slice the garlic. I'm doing around 10 cloves and I have around eight pork cutlets. Thin, I'm thinking two per person was kind of my portion that I was going with. And then the onion, we are just going to small dice it and saute that with our garlic. So first, we're gonna sear all the chops, all the cutlets, not chops, cutlets. We're gonna sear them all and put them on side. Then we're gonna make the pan sauce. Then we're gonna put them back into the sauce to finish, marinate, become delicious, add our cheese and fresh parsley, and we will have dinner. You guys know with me, it's all in the prep. So I am, before we go over to the stove, cause then we can bust out dinner. Oh my God, did you just see that? That did not end up in my bowl or anywhere. So let's try it again. As you bowl, as everyone knows, let's try it, hold on. It's all in the prep so we can make dinner happen fast and you know, not waste any time or any of the ingredients. We're getting all the prep done. So I'm bringing over the lemon juice already juiced into a bowl. This way there's no seeds. I'm gonna chop up our parsley. I got our onions and garlic over there. I got our pork over there. I got our butter over there and I got our cheese over there. And then only thing I'm gonna need is me. Okay, hot pan. Got our pork cutlets marinating. You know, it's in a Ziploc baggie. And we are just gonna lay them in. Nice hot pan. Ooh, the sizzle. Um, I can just show you, they're really thin. They're nice. These are not gonna take a long time to cook. But we wanna sear all the meat first because then they're gonna build our sauce in here and all the flavor is gonna be from searing this meat to like layer up that sauce. So don't overcrowd so they don't steam. I have around five in here right now. I'm gonna get a sear on one side, probably two minutes, flip them. Other side, I have my sheet pan ready to put them on to rest while we make our pan sauce in here. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Originally, I was gonna make the sauce and put it back into the pan. I'm gonna get a, a casserole dish and I'm gonna make the sauce. I'm gonna line the cutlets up in the casserole dish, pour the sauce over it, put a little extra cheese on it, fresh herbs, and pop it in the oven and finish it that way. That will make this super tender. Um, right now, while I have the pan nice and hot, adding in our garlic and our onions and a little bit of butter. And you need a wooden spoon to get this saute. I wanna get this a little brown, but not too brown, you know what I mean? Onions have a nice color on it. Gonna deglaze with that um, lemon juice that we had and a little bit of white wine. I have that ready to go. Um, I'm gonna get this simmering now. Adding in a little bit of Parmesan I'm gonna add half of the fresh parsley in, the other half at the end to garnish it. Get this simmering. I'm gonna pour this over the casserole. I got, I got them over here. We're gonna be there in a minute. We're gonna go pour it over the pork cutlets and then get it in the oven so it starts to like reduce slowly and cook and tenderize that meat. Even though it was super tender because they're really nice and thin, just a little extra, a little extra. Now I lined up the cutlets. Perfect dish, it's not too deep and now boiling hot, simmering hot. Um, we're just gonna pour this sauce right on top of it. Oh, all the onions and garlic, yes! Yes! And then to finish it, just shaved Parmesan. 
I have the oven at 350. I'm gonna put it in the middle rack. Oh my God. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh ground pepper and a little bit of salt, but I'm gonna go light on the salt just because there's Parmesan cheese in the sauce and there's Parmesan cheese on top and Parm has a lot of salt. But take a look at this. I put it on a sheet pan, put it in the middle oven, taking it out in like, I think I'm gonna do 20 minutes. Yeah, we're gonna go 20 minutes, get that cheese bubbly, even a little brown on top. We just pulled this out of the oven, our pork cutlets, some fresh parsley on top. Look at that cheese that melted. It smells so good. I'm gonna let it rest because it's really hot. You can see the cutlets, the Parmesan cheese, the scampi sauce underneath. Oh my goodness gracious. Now this extra sauce, we're just gonna put it right on top of our pasta for dinner. Bon appetit.